Welcome back to Dyson Sphere Program, folks. We have finished up all of the fire eyes that we brought, so that's all gone. But something really cool happened too. Uh, I picked up a bunch of titanium, this is just a little bit of it. And look what I have. I have planetary logistics stations times two, and we have logistics drones as well. So what I'm gonna do is over here, instead of feeding all of these into this, uh, let's delete that, we will set up one of these bad boys. <laughs> so cool. And we'll set it up, we'll set it up out here, and we will... Logistics station. You have taken the first step to establish the Intraplanetary Logistics Transportation Network. Provided the place of logistics station of the raw material is set to supply, the logistic drones will transport cargo to elsewhere with a demand on the planet automatically. Mm -hmm. Never forget to put the logistic drones in the logistics station, either the supply or the demand side. The logistic drones will only work for the transportation station they belong to. Okay. Cool, cool. So this will have uh, these guys, and they are supply. And we'll stick these ten in here. And it is filling up on the mega jewels. Now let's head over here. And we'll set up a demand here. So you go away. And transportation. Let's, let's set you up here. And Grab you out like that, and you need some power. Not a problem. You can have some power, and we will say uh, titanium crystals, and we will say demand. So now we can see that there are titanium crystals in transit. 247 of them, and if we do like this, there they come. All our little drone buddies are coming over with titanium crystals. So cool! There they are. And you can see what they're carrying as well, which is nice. And they will just drop down and feed that thing and go back for some more. Now, we did not set a filter here. We need to set a filter. Uh, right here, and we'll tell this to spit out the uh, titanium crystals. And there we have it. Titanium crystals are a moving, and our drones are on their way back here to grab some more. <laughs> How many do we have? Not that many. Definitely need more production of this. But it's fine for now. It's fine for now. Now, the next thing that we need to do is... We need to make... Oh, what did you do? A guidebook, okay. We need to make these guys titanium alloy. For which we need sulfuric acid which kind of sucks and we also need steel so is there an iron vein around here uh, no we have two oil seeps here 
No, we have three oil seeps here, and we have an iron vein as well. So I think that will work. So I guess we'll make them over there. Okay. Let's do it. Uh, where are the orange sheeps? There's one there, two there, there's three right here, and there we have iron and stone. So that is very nice. That is very nice. Uh, so sulfuric acid we'll get from the oil. Then the steel we'll get from the iron vein. And that'll be fine and dandy. Okay. So let's see, can we... Uh, we need three oil extractors. Which we can make. We have some refineries. We don't have any chemical plants. And this is made in a chemical plant. Yeah. Uh, we can make three. We're missing some stone. Okay. Uh, before we leave, let's just set up our um, gathering our oil seeps here. And we have a few wind turbines over there. <laughs> just one or two. Okay. So that's that. Uh, let's just go grab some stuff. Uh, we need some stone. Where the heck am I? Oh, I'm here. Uh, we need to come down here. Uh, where is the stone? The stone is up here. Uh, let's see how many we can make now. Seven. And we're missing glass. Uh, so... How many do we have now? Eight, we're producing two, so that's ten. Let's produce another ten. And let's fill up on the graphite. And what else do we need? We probably need some sorters and some belts. Belts we have here. Sorters we have here. Uh, smelters. We have 40 of those, that's enough. Uh, splitters, we have enough of those. We need to make some of these. And we need to get rid of all those crystals. Let's just go pop them in uh, our uh, research. Well, wrong way, wrong way. Uh, so, up here. these, stick them in there. Uh, 
And where are we going? We are going. Uh. Down here, right? Yeah. So basically to the South Pole. And we're on the North Pole. Fine, fine. Okay. There's our wind turbines. And there we have oil seat. Nice! Oh, we need to start some research too, don't we? And we have that now. We have that. Uh, upgrades. Veins utilization. Hmm... Sorter cargo stacking. Okay, logistics carrier engine plus 20% logistics drone flight speed. Not bad. Plus 5 logistics drone carrying capacity. Research speed. We need purple matrices for that. Okay. Could go for something like the energy circuit or the drone engine. I don't think that's the most important stuff right now, though. Uh, mini fusion power generation. Deuterium fuel rod. Mini fusion power station. Let's research that. Research the high strength materials. Um, interstellar power transmission. Gas giant exploitation. Gas giants contain abundant resources, and the exploitation of gas giants marks a new level of technology. Very cool. Let's queue that up. And high strength lightweight structures. Oh, this uh, doesn't even take yellows. Queue that up. Casimir crystal. And miniature part. Particle Collider. Alright, so that's all queued up. We probably don't have enough yellows, uh, but we'll see. We'll see. Uh, okay, let's see. Let's get some power going for these guys. Where's the third one? Over there. You, you. So those are hooked up. We then need to do this recipe. Yep. So, we actually need to make some of these, but it can wait. So, where do we want to set up? We have 12 oil refineries, that's not going to be enough. I think we'll set up right here. Five, 
six. And some belt. That's the input. And more refineries. Mini fusion power generation thing. Okay. Deuterian. Deuteron. How the hell do you say that? Du Deuteron fuel rod. Energy 600 megajoules. Wow. One of those rods could almost fill us up. Wow. Okay. Alright, so output. Let's see, we'll have two outputs. Actually, you know what? Let's undo that. Put them in. Uh, because we have the stone over on this side, and so so we want the output over here. Okay, and then we could stick the power over here, so we'll have this go the other way. High strength materials. Oh, there's a thing in the way. Fine. Uh, let's come down and come up here. And we'll have some oil storage. Right here. There. And there. Just finish this up. So they don't keep wandering off. Okay. And the third one is there. So. You actually need to come in on this side so that you can come in on this side. Okie dokie. That's the oil done. And then 
just need an output. Like that. And of course we need inserters for all of this. Let's give you a recipe, and we'll copy that to all of them. There we go. Everything has a recipe, and for the outputs. Alright, research results. You have unlocked the energy exchanger. Cool. The power, the power conversion facility can not only store the surplus electric energy in the power grid into an accumulator to make a full accumulator. It can also release the electric energy stored in the full accumulator. Okay. Sounds like a battery. Okay, other side. Uh, that was wrong. Need to be hydrogen. Set up some oil storage. And hydrogen storage. There we go. You go in there. And you go in there. Let's power this baby up. Okay. Everything has power and we are producing. Outstanding. Outstanding. Okay. Next is the chemical plants. this storage over here because I'm going to extend that. Yeah. I have one. Uh, let's dismantle you.
Okay. And let's just cut this off for a second. Storage. And let's cut this off for a second. Until these empty out. You're empty now. You are almost empty. There we go. Okay. Much better. Oh, and uh, move. Stuck. Trees. Okay, now the chemical plant needs to make sulfuric acid. And that takes six seconds and it takes six fuel so huh. all right well we'll set up the five for now it's three inputs that it needs. So, this will come in that way. That will be water, oil. Actually, I want the stone in the middle. And the stone will come in from this direction. Okay. Now. Oil. Uh. Alright. Lightweight materials. Frame material. A new type of high-strength lightweight structure can withstand the strain of strong gravitational force of stars. Okay. Dyson sphere component. Cool. Nice. Ah, oh, this game just gets better and better, doesn't it? I'm having a really hard time stopping playing when I'm when I'm recording. I mean, I, I just want to play so much. It's such a cool game. All right, let's get these guys set up. Seven, I think. And we'll have one over here. And we'll have one there. All right. Seven veins, nine veins, six veins, and seven veins. Okay. Let's power them up. Stone moving. Okay, uh, ray receiver. Cool, cool. Not something we'll worry about right now. Alright, 
I think that'll actually be enough. Uh, let's set up. Uh, so when these make this, it's all they make, right? Yes. So just one output. Which way do we want the output? I think this way. Let's stick some power in. We're gonna need power on the other side as well. Let's do that. Uh, let's copy the recipe. There we have the stone coming. And uh, actually, you know what? I don't want those there. Uh, we, we can have them there for now. But we are going to expand. So they'll have to move at some point. At which point, I'm not really sure how we get power into there. <laughs> we'll figure it out. Um, Alright, uh, logistics. So we'll have that. Need to set up the water as well. I don't think I have a water extractor. Or water pump. Nope. Uh, water pump. Well, we can make some. Uh, the water we can get from over here. Gathering water. Two. Three. Four. Five. And power for you all. So, uh, okay, so that'll start water going, and it needs to go in here. Uh, it doesn't need to come over that far. There we go. And we can just... Where's that water that I picked up? There. Delete that. Okay. There we go. Water coming in and... Nice. Sulfuric acid going out soon. Uh, provided we stick an output on here, that might help. Alright, and I am out of storage tanks. Well, I have one. Whoops, I did not want to build it there. Storage. Let's build it there. Can we build more? We can. Let's get three more.
There we go. Sulfuric acid producing. Uh, why? Oh. I actually think we might need more stone. Might need to hook up one more. Does seem like it's getting all the way to the end though. But if we build another set over here, then it definitely won't. So let's just do that. Make sure that we have everything that we need. Okay. And now we can check here. Is this going up or going down? It's going down. Or what? 2811 was the top there. Okay, it's going up, but slowly. Uh, I should actually... Uh, stick a storage... Storage. Dang it. Uh, we can... No. Alright, well, it is what it is. Okay, so we can store a bit of water as well. Delete that. Eight hundred and thirty. So I think another five machines might be overkill. But I mean, these are filling up, right? Or what? If they are, it's very, very slow. Okay, we'll leave it at that for now. Now, that was sulfuric acid. Next thing we need is steel and titanium. So we have iron veins right here. need this many but I like overkill will you hit all of them you will uh, let's just fill that on there stick that in there okay so we'll have set up our steel production right here So first, we need iron ingots. Uh, 
Ah, oh, we ran out of yellows. Dang it. Okay. Production. Ugly, but it'll do. Like so, final one. Okay. Let's power you up. So, give you a recipe for iron ingots. Mm. And grab some inserters. So that's that. Then we'll set up the steel production here. Which is basically a copy of this. It would be very nice to be able to make blueprints. Uh, I kind of have my doubts that you will be able to in this game. We'll see. Let's set up right here. Six. Set up the input. Two, three, four, five, six. Uh, set up the output. that we want. And we want some power. And some inserters. Power. It would be a, a, a kind of nice feature if it said, oh, I am getting uh, 
ironing gets in inserted uh, the if the smelter said that and then automatically say okay since I'm getting iron ingots the only thing I can make uh, is steel so just set it to steel automatically when when it got a material I think that would be kind of nice all right, we have our steel. Then... We actually just need our titanium. Very, very cool. So, let's grab the steel and run it out this way. No, not onto there. Oh, that is not what I want. How much do we have now? 2,000. Not bad. And this tank is empty, so we're not getting enough oil. So, some of them will probably stop working soon. Uh, let's fill this in. Uh, I did not mean to have it like that. prettier. Okay. Alright. Uh, now, this is made in a smelting facility. Okay. Cool, cool. Uh, smelting facilities we have. So, let's just start... Right here. Three, four, five. Uh, let's just do six. It's probably too many for what we can, uh, can make right now, but it's fine. Uh, production. Actually, you know what? I don't like building north south. I like building east west or west east, mainly because of these weird junctions in the grid. So, production... One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, no, because we have three inputs, right? So, let's just, first of all, let's stick a power pole in here and see how close we can actually build. Uh, so, it's just one space in between. That's uh, five, six, then we need three inputs. up and one two three four five six 
And the output. First one. Like so. Oh, I didn't complete the belt down there. Let's just go do that real quick. You decided to go finish that up instead of that. Okay, here comes the steel. You'll go in there. And then for now, We'll have a chest with titanium. You need to make titanium alloy. be able to get... this won't work. I need four inputs. Okay. So you are actually, yeah, let's dismantle you. Uh, dismantle you. Dismantle all of you. Right, I think uh, I'll set all this up in between episodes so that it's ready to go in the next one and I'll probably go get some more titanium for us as well so that everything is 100% ready so yeah I think I'll do that. Uh, let's dismantle you. So thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.